Hey kids, it's Mr. Mendoza, and it's time for art. Today we are drawing a tiger. Okay, let's get started with our tiger today, our easy tiger. So, like before, did a tracing of a shape. If you don't want to trace a shape and you just want to go for it, that's fine. Keep in mind when I'm tracing and drawing stuff lightly, I have my pencil held way back here so I can draw things lighter. That way they're easier for me to erase. All right, let's get started. So what I want to do is lightly draw a little line, cut this little pizza in half, and then maybe another little line, cut it this way, so crisscross, four-piece pizza. All right, so the next thing I want to do is put these ears in. So they kind of have boxy ears. I'm going to have rounded shapes again. So rounded rectangles, see that the corners are rounded. Do it to the other side. Remember, they don't have to match. It's all practice. So it's good about these lines. If I don't like these lines, I can come back and erase them. Now, if you draw too dark, you're still gonna see that line and be really upset, maybe start over and that's okay too. So moving on. Rounded corners on these ears, rounded rectangles. All right, darken some lines. Once I get what I like, I can darken it in. All right, and let's put some fur in those ears. Fur ears, touch that line and kind of drag off. Doesn't matter how much fur you put in there, they actually really have really a lot of fur in there. So the next thing I'm gonna do is get this nose going. So they have a bigger mouth and a bigger nose than most cats. So I'm gonna kind of go down here. And if you saw my wildcat video, we did like a W shape here that I'm kind of gesturing with my pencil. So I'm actually gonna put the, the triangle first Put a big triangle, big nose, kind of lower. See how it's down here? And then let's do that W shape. Now their W kind of goes up past their nose, so I'm gonna kind of go like this. I'm kind of doing a little sketchy, using a lot of different little light lines. Give me another chance to pick the ones I like later. So if I mess up, I can try again. While we're at it, they kind of have a big chin, so the chin is not as wide as the side of the mouth here. It's kind of a little bit right here, almost. Big chin. And we are done, good job. So it makes them look different than your regular house cat or a wild cat. All right, very nice. And while we're here, let's put those little dots in. I like to do three, little triangle shape, it's easy. And if you want to complete the pattern, you can keep going. See that? Oh, kind of messed it up there, but. Uh, alrighty. And while we're here, let's do those whiskers too. So you can go from the dots if you want to. You can just go between them. Just touch and drag. You can practice this on another paper if you want to. It's a lot of fun. Get out of hand with it. Remember, in nature, things are random, so it's okay if they don't really match. Just have fun with it. All right, moving on. So this line we made earlier, let's use it. So what I want to do is they have a really wide nose. So let's kind of put a line here lightly kind of connect that nose to show it's really strong and really big. All right, next what I'm gonna do is do our little eyes. Let's do them right here. So line them up. Oops, that one got a little off. Line them up to the edge of the mouth right here. All right, not bad. And let's do a little curve over just to give them a little more detail this time. Okay, and what I wanna do is later on you might wanna color this. We're gonna put a patch of white. So I'm gonna kind of start here where the nose touched that line and let's do like a rounded triangle shape. See the corners are roundy. I know roundy is not a word. My students don't like that, but it's kind of funny to me. So roundy, roundy it is, roundy corners. All right, remember, if you want to paint this or color it orange later, this part stays white. While we're at it, let's just erase some of those lines. They don't need to stay. And we can kind of get rid of some of this, maybe not all of it. While I'm here, I'm gonna darken my nose and I'm happy with it. And I forgot to put some nostrils there. Let's put some nostrils. They really have a really defined nose and let's darken in this W finally. And let's clean it up for you guys. There we go. Let's get that chin. Actually, let's do some texture on this chin. So I'm gonna just add some lines to make it look fuzzy. Like a fuzzy little beard. Very nice. 
clean up the early line we did here. My mouth is closed. All right, not bad. Okay, so they kind of have like a like the wildcat some fuzz coming off their cheeks. I don't know if the correct term for it is a mane, kind of like a lion, but they do have some fur. So kind of starts up by the ears, and it kind of is really fluffy. It kind of stops by the chin. So do your best just to match the shape size or whatever space in there. All right, it's looking pretty good. Okay, so next thing I want to do is let's start getting some of the stripes in there. And what I'm going to do is trade pencils and get a fatter pencil. And I kind of broke the tip and shaved it down so it's a little thicker. And I'm just going to go over here. And this line we did earlier for the circle, I'm going to use that and kind of hide it by just adding some dark, zigzaggy, scraggly lines. There we go. Let's put one right here in this space between the eye triangle and this stripe we just made. A little short one. Stops right there by the mouth. And let's do it to this side too. Not bad. All right, I think I'm gonna darken these eyes and make them pop a little bit better. So anything we see that we wanna make darker later on, we can fix. All right, so we're almost done with this tiger. So next thing I wanna do is th this line here. We saved that for a reason. So what I want to do is just kind of make a dark spot up here. And if you want, you can darken that headline now and bring it down a little bit. And then we're going to do some zigzags here too. And they're kind of symmetrical. What that means is kind of like a butterfly. So take your hands and do this. Have you ever done this before? So both sides should be the same. Same as you can get it. Remember, we're just having fun. It's okay if they go off a little bit. All right, let's do one more here. Okay, I'm gonna make this thing a little wiggly. There we go. Remember, you can go back and darken some things in, erase some things you don't like. But overall, you know, I'm pretty happy with this tiger. And I hope you are too. So good job, guys, if you made it through. And if you want, you can always challenge yourself and try to do the next level. This video is too easy for you. Go ahead and try the medium.